Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we have a very nice proof on the board. The question is a bit easy, but let's look at it together systematically. The question says, show that 3 equal to the square root of 1 plus 2 into the square root of 1 plus 3 into the square root of 1 plus 4 into the square root of 1 plus da 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 dash to infinity. So how do we prove this? Okay, so if you're new here, this is all I must TV where we learn mathematics all the time. If you are new, please subscribe to my channel so that you get notified whenever we release a wonderful video. Okay, so let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So here we take solution. Okay, now from this expression we have here now, in fact, we have three, two, to the square root of 1 plus 2 into the square root of 1 plus 3 into the square root of 1 plus 4 into the square root of 1 plus da 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 dash. So the number one thing I'm going to do here is to relate this expression to our binomial our series. So if we have of n plus 1 or to the power of 2. How do we expand it? So from our Pascal diagram or triangle, the coefficient here is going to be 1, 2, 1. Okay? So if we expand this, this automatically will give us n to the power of 2 plus 2n plus 1. Now, where n is a set of positive integers, what is common here and here is n. So, I can factor out n from here. So, if I factor out n, I'm going to have here n into n plus 2, close bracket, plus 1. Okay, so from what we have on this other side now, we now have this. What if I decide to square both sides of this equation? What would that give us? So let's put this down n plus 1 all to the power of 2. If I take the square root of both sides, I equally take the square root of this side too. So with this, this and this will leave the system. So I now have n plus 1 is equal to the square root of n into n plus 2 bracket plus 1. This has not changed anything. Okay. Now, remember we said n is a set of positive integers. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, da, 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 da. Okay. To infinity. Now, if I substitute n to be 2, what would be the expression from here? Okay, so let's start with 2. We now say, so if we have our n, or if we put n equal to 2, what will become of our expression from here now? So this will now give us 2 plus 1 is equal to the square root of 2 into 2 plus 2 plus 1. So this will give us 3 is equal to the square root of 2 times 4 plus 1. You get something from here? All right. Now, I can rearrange this side of the equation. So if I rearrange this, we give us. So let's continue on this side. So this will give us 3 is equal to the square root of, let me start with 1 plus 2 times 4. The dot here means multiplication. So let's keep this for n be equal to what? 2. Again, let's work for n be equal to 3. So if n, if n is equal to 3, this expression here now, Okay, in fact, let's give this equation star. So from our equation star, if we take n 
to be equal to 3. Then we now have our expression to be 3 plus 1 equal to the square root of what? 3. Okay. Then into 3 plus 2 plus bracket plus 1. Okay. So this will now give us 4 is equal to the square root of 3 into 5. Okay, plus 1. So if we rearrange, we're going to have 4 is equal to the square root of 1 plus 3 times 5. How we get something from here? Good. Now, what if we decide to take our n to be 4 from this same expression again, which is our equation star? So from here, I'll say if n equal to 4. Now that we'll put n equal to 4. So we're going to have this to be r4 plus 1 equal to the square root of 4 into 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is equal to, so this, this will give us 5 equal to the square root of 4 into 6 plus 1. So again, if we rearrange this, this will give us 5 is equal to the square root of 1 plus 4 dot 6. A pattern is playing out now. So let's look at this and see if we can get something playing out from here. Okay, which is the original equation here now. We are having 3 equal to everything here. And from here, we are having 3 equal to this. Now, when we rearrange, look at what we have here now. So this now implies that 3 is equal to, let's put it down here, we have your 1 plus 2 dot 4. Then if you look at where we put n to be 3, we have 4. 4 is equal to this which is this final one we have here. So we can replace it here, right? So from here, we are now saying again that our three, so is equal to what here now we have square root of one plus two into, what is our four? And four is equal to one plus three dot five. From here, we have five which is for um, dx, we solve for our 5 already, okay? So let's replace 5 with dx. So let's continue on this side of the board. So let's rule off and continue here. Yeah. So this automatically is equal to our root 1 plus 2 into root 1 plus 3 into root 5 is, um, here we have 1 plus 4 dot 6. Okay, let's rule out this. You see the pattern playing out here? Okay, so again, if we solve for our n equal to uh, 5, we're going to have expression for 6 again. All right, so therefore, we cannot come to the conclusion that therefore, our 3 is equal to the square root of, here we have 1 plus 2 into the square root of 1 plus 3 into the square root of 1 plus 4 into the square root of 1 plus da 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 dash okay all right so we'll be able to show we'll be able to show that three is equal to what we have here now very easy all right so this mark the end to this proof yeah if you learn something from this proof give the video a thumbs up if you have a better way of proving this or you have another way, a different way of showing 
3 equal to what we have here leave it in the comment section so that we can equally learn from you again this is all i must tv and my name is jakes anemo i love you and remember every one of us at all i must tv loves you because you are the reason for the existence of this channel thanks for always be there i love you bye for now